In 1991, Peter Criss was 11 years removed from the band KISS. He had been establishing himself as a solo performer and releasing a few albums. Times were tough as he tried to break away from his past. After returning from his mother's funeral, he was met at his California home by a crowd of reporters. They began asking him about his life on the streets, if he was broke and if he was really homeless. Confusion gave way to shock and then to anger, as the reason for all this became very clear. Someone was impersonating him. That someone was a homeless man by the name of Christopher Dickinson. He was an admitted alcoholic and drug addict, and had began saying he was the drummer sometime in the late 80s. Dickinson claimed he didn't know why exactly he began saying he was Peter, but for some reason it just worked for him. This resulted in an early form of identity theft, where he was able to get limos and even studio time claiming to be Peter Chris. The tabloid who reported the story, The Star, caught wind and paid him for his story. The story was heard by actor Tom Arnold, who started to help who he believed was Chris get back on his feet. An actress who claimed to have had a relationship with Peter in the 1970s even flew him to her home to assist as well. Peter began to dispel the rumors and was invited on Phil Donahue to tell his side of the story alongside Dickinson. The appearance included Dickinson, Chris, Arnold, and the actress. Things were tense and awkward to say the least, but everything was cleared up. After the show was complete, Peter asked Dickinson, Are you happy with what you did to my life? This anger was displaced, though, as he soon went after the star, suing them and settling for a large sum of money. Within five years, Peter was back in Kiss, and the incident has been largely forgotten. It's truly a strange case in music history, and, one could say as well, history. What do you think about this story? Let me know in the comments below. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by supporting me on Ko-fi, which you can find a link to below. You can also help by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.